Ilya is a 12-year-old boy from Serbia with Down syndrome. He used to live in a state-run institution. He is unable to return to his biological parents, but he is growing up in the care of a loving foster family, thanks to childcare reforms aimed at keeping families together and helping vulnerable children to grow up in a family environment. Ilya used to be a child who did not communicate with me at all, not even with his eyes, in any possible way. He seemed to be very, very withdrawn, but it did not matter to me. So it's almost unbelievable that in the past 10 months, he's put on 7 or 8 kilograms and grown 10 inches. His whole appearance, his interaction has changed. Children like Ilya were the focus of a discussion on the sidelines of the UNICEF Executive Board meeting co-hosted by Bulgaria in September. Bulgaria, Croatia, Serbia, Kazakhstan and Turkey shared their experiences in accelerating childcare reform. They want to support Ilya and many of the 1.4 million children in Central and Eastern Europe and Central Asia living without parental care. It's a concern the world over. The reform's aim is to provide assistance to families at risk of separation and prevent parents from placing their child in an institution. Family-based care ensures that children thrive physically, intellectually and emotionally. Community-based and local services are more cost-effective in the long run. So we, need, we are making strong emphasis on prevention. We are making strong emphasis uh, throughout the social welfare centres on work with family at risk. It's also important for a child to grow up with his or her mother and father, siblings and extended family. If that's not possible, it's important for a child to grow up in a healthy environment with people who can function as mother and father. Some countries are carrying out new approaches such as integrating social workers in the healthcare system, calling on agencies to work together. All social workers in education, social protection and health cooperate closely when they're assigned to support a family. Families at times place children in institutions when parents can't cope because of poverty or in some cases stigma attached to children with disabilities children from ethnic minorities or from single-parent families. But an institution is not a home, and governments across the region are committed to getting children out of institutions like this and back to their own parents or foster families, all with the support of UNICEF. Perhaps the best example to illustrate what's going on is when an official enters the institution they see children who are otherwise healthy, they run toward you and say, uncle, take me away. Those institutions are nice, they are tended properly, they're clean and nice and professionals work there. But what the children lack is family. This clearly demonstrates to us that the best environment for bringing up children is family. It's showing results. We diminished uh, dramatically the, the, um, uh, the number of, uh, of the child care institutions. Um, by 2015, our objective is to completely um, terminate the existence of uh, institutions that take care of, uh, of children with disabilities. No matter how well children are cared for or how well an institution is run, nothing can replace the emotional and social connection a child makes when growing up in a family. Ilya's foster parents continue to be encouraged by the progress he's made since leaving the institution. That's why it's vital to help people overcome the challenges of keeping families together in the region and around the world. This is Leli Chuhari reporting for UNICEF.